Hello everybody, Vidal Diaper here, and I am back with another Tech It tutorial. I'm gonna teach you how to make a flatland. So what you gotta do is you gotta start up Tech It, and then you got it. No, I'm kidding, guys. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make simple machines out of simple machines. Uh, I, they're actually not that simple, but once you get a hang of it, it's really fun to do. So I'm going to be teaching you how to make electronic circuits automatically today. Electronic circuits. So here it is. We could do it with BuildCraft and have it be twice as big. Actually not twice as big, around the same size, but a lot more resources. Or we can use Red Powder, or, uh, Red Power, which is uh, better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, red Power is extremely good with its compact and items go back through the tubes the opposite way instead of pouring out like in Buildcraft and there's just a lot more diversity and you can do a lot more with it. So what this machine does is I got some uh, let me see uh, oh. there's, all, there's certain items that you need for a um, electronic circuit and all of, all of these four items are in these four uh, mini flowers, or mini power flowers. So we have redstone, we have iron, we have copper, we have sticky resin. So, put this in here, and we can make this more powerful if we want to by putting, actually, let's try that. I want to show how we can make this a lot faster. So we're gonna put relays around it first. So we're gonna go two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Then we just put them all across here. And then even right here, covering it. And because um, machines like this in equivalent exchange kind of tether together, they're next to another machine and transfer power this is possible to make double the size and pretty almost no more like triple the power um, so that's why EE is being recoded because EE was never meant to be taken as a very serious mod like red power it was more of like let's see how powerful I can get and explode stuff and you can do that with other things, don't get me wrong, I see too, you can blow up stuff just as good with a nuke. But uh, this is just an, exa like, uh, an example of how easy it is to make stuff like this because of equivalent exchange. And now that I have stronger power flowers, I can start up my clock. So this clock is going to use these filters right here to pull out a stack of each item every t every uh, time the clock goes. So every five seconds. So let's watch it. There we are. Now I'm going to go under to my wiring where I have my other clocks. I'm going to start those clocks. Okay, here we are. Now these clocks, this clock here pulls out this, or these cables, these copper cables. It goes in to this red power automatic crafting table and then every kind of quick amount of time it pulls out every two seconds it pulls out an electronic circuit so why can't I why is it glitching out there we go get down there so I'm gonna take a second off of this and we're gonna pump out electronic circuits pretty fast now I'm gonna set the other circuit down to a shorter time now too because now we have stronger flowers and what we have powering these machines here is we have them with these upgrades 16 overclocker 16 transformer and then 16 energy storage and then we have one with 888 of the overclockers energy storage and transformers you need the transformer upgrades because it's putting out uh, high voltage and you could probably do this with low voltage arrays but 
because I'm in creative, let's go for the, the goal. And now, we're overloaded with redstone. So, we can actually set this to a longer timer. Because now we're pulling out um, stuff very fast. Now, look at that. That is incredibly fast and worth it to get. Now we're going to set the other timer over here low too. And I know this might look complicated, but it's actually not too complicated. Except I did have some trouble with these machines and the fact that you have to... Um, What is this set to? Two seconds. I'm thinking, yeah, that's good. I'm actually going to get a different timer for these second machines here, and I'll show you why. I'm going to disconnect from here, and then put the timer down at the very short amount. So we can pull out enough resources from these here so that it doesn't overload the pipes like it has with the rubber here, or the rubber resin. And it's pretty, it's consistent in what it pulls out because these power flowers are not upgraded enough, but it'll eventually run out of resources and you're just not gonna pull out as many. Like right here, you're not getting as many resources. So, what we can do to up the resources is put down the time here. And we can look at our automatic crafting table. And oh, here are some tips. If you want the items from the tubes to go into this slot here, you put it through the top. And then you pull it from the front, like the little furnace thing. Here, let me show you. furnace texture, this right here, this texture, is on the front, and these have to pull from the front, or at least they weren't working when I didn't pull them from the front, so I'm thinking they do. And, let me put my volume down some, and if you don't, they just don't pull, and then your machine doesn't work. So, and that's not, never good. And now you can see that we're kind of piling up items, except now we're not getting enough um, we're not getting enough uh, cables, copper cables. So what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to make another power flower with resin and make another furnace with these upgrades. So I'll be right back and then show you our update. Okay, here we go. And the reason that's not coming out is because this is already full. We're going to get this baby on the road. Okay, I think that's all of them. The machine is rolling. And now, let's see how fast we're pumping them out. Now we're pumping them out at full speed again. Let's actually empty this out. And see how fast we get some. Oh yeah, and guys, I just wanted to show you this. After like less than five minutes, we have this many electronic circuits. So I think that this machine is worth it because making 64 electronic circuits on its own is just annoying to do. And having a machine that automatically does it for you all the time is a bit of a help. So I will definitely be building this on Shenanadirt. And I'll be building other machines similar to this to make items like batteries. I might even make a, sol a big machine of solar happiness using red power because red power is better than buildcraft even though there are some some things of buildcraft that are like a little easier to use red power is more organized and you see how these items are going back through it that redstone with buildcraft it would fly all over the place and make lag and not make a lot of people not happy or a lot of people's computers so I think this is a lot more organized, a lot more easy to use, but yeah, 
This was just a clip after it to show you how many we've got. One per second. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, don't hate on me because I just figured this out. And I wanted to help you guys out because I know that there are other people who don't know how to do this and are having trouble. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys next time.